Okay, and my favorite yeah. on Five for Friday, TV time, baby. It's T-shirt time and TV oh. time. Daniel Kevin here. Did this win feel double good? Double good. Uh, it had it had a lot more um, significance, I think, uh, just because of everything that happened. I think uh, there was a lot more emotion going into this game. Hey, Daniel, thanks for taking some time with us. Thank you, guys. Thanks for having me. Worst question that's ever been asked in MLB <laughs> Network history. Daniel, you could retire tomorrow and be better at this than you are. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you're getting so tonight, true. Boston. Hey, Beantown, it's going to be double good this evening. So the question, of course, is 1-5 ready for his Nesson broadcast debut? No, no, no. Is Nesson ready for the legend? Yeah. That, the, the problem is you have to be ready for the mistakes because I sat here, I got here early, I met with Dan, our producer, that's going to be producing Nesson's show, and I'm sitting here like, how do y'all do it? And then we got to go over some stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I already started getting nervous. Now, this happened to me about 12 years ago when I did my first game. I was like, I was already nervous. And now this is the first time in, what, I think 12 years that we're going to be back in the booth. It's a different ball game, Bronny, and I need you to text me some tips because I, I need to learn. It's a different ballgame. This show right here, we can talk by a bonfire. I'm all in. You get up there in the booth, and now you got to you can't tell stories with two outs? Eh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, you don't want to play. I, I, I'm not the best guy to text you because I don't like playing by the rules, especially nowadays. I'm, I don't go conventional, yeah. and I will say a little asterisk. I know it's been a minute, but we did a game. It was like kind of remote, weird, COVID times, whatever, and I thought you were wonderful, so much so that I actually want to put a little extra pressure on you. So we came up with this list. It's to my whatever. I can't do left and right right now. Words Millar should use on Nesson tonight. So we picked three <laughs> categories for you. Number one, WOBA. So And you can use this in sentence. I can help you if you need, like, hey, guys, what do you know about WOBA? Weighted on base average. You don't have to know what it is. I just want you okay. to drop that. Can you do that? Yep. I need you to text me that one. Continue. Okay, I'll text you that. Number two, broadcasty words, fortuitous, which means happening by chance. So maybe like when you're over a replay, which is where you'll take over, fortuitous comes out naturally. Okay, okay, in, text and me that. Number three should be easy, and I bet you Boston and the whole crew up there, there might be some youngsters playing, you know, adult beverage games around this word. How many times does Millar say wicked? On air. You got to do at least one drop. Wicked. But if you yes, do 10, 100%. then it's really going to be a party for some people up in Boston because they're watching this and then yeah, they're going to watch wicked. the game. They're going to be wicked. So <laughs> even if you give me one of those and I'll text these to you tonight, we would love to have you include it for us on IT and then we'll uh, see how you did post game. So it, it'll Done. ease the nerves a little bit. And I call games every week. Adult beverage, no one told, I didn't tell you that, but adult beverage before, whatever, no one knows what's happening. There's a, I have a cold brew coffee elixir that I can give you ingredients on that you can put together at the ballpark that just gives Boom. you the natural boost. All right, deal. I need all that text. Don't forget, I don't want you to leave me out because I need all the words, I need definitions, and I need that brew.